Cheers, everybody. Welcome to another beer review. We have got uh, a stout from Durham Brewery. We have got a bottle of their Dark Angel. Clocking at 4.3% ABV. Um, I shall read the, the text for you. Big fan. Everybody who knows me knows I'm a big fan of this brewery. It says, drinks much bigger than a 4.3. A robust and full-bodied stout with coffee roast bitterness and rich caramel notes. Seven different grains are in this, including oats, create a complex malt body. This is balanced by good old English hops. Um, is it bottle conditioned? This ale is bottle conditioned. Store up right and pour gently to avoid the ambient. We know all that. So 4.3% ABV. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this. This brewery, for me, big lover of this brewery. Um, you know, there's lots of things I love about the brewery. It's just everything, really. <laughs> everything I love about them. You know, from, from the labels to the, the beer to the... I just do. I just... Durham Brewery. Northeast Treasure, Durham Brewery. So let's crack it open, shall we? Yes, let's. <laughs> the inner voice says. Um, Dublin Crown. Let's get a whiff. Slightly smoky. Then you get in. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about smoke kippers. It's slightly smoky. Hint of espresso, coffee and dark Bourneville chocolate. So let's pour it out like you do. Let's check on my glass. This glass has had some shit put in it tonight. And I'm trying to get rid of the smell of it. I should use another glass, but because I'm tight with me washing up, I only want to wash one glass up like you do. So bottle conditioned, get rid of the swell. Like you do, get rid of the swell, get rid of the swell. And whack it in. And again. Whack it in. Calm it down. Calm it down. Calm down. Get a bit overexcited. And whack it in. Go on. Let it calm down a little bit more. How much more is there left? Don't sometimes when you don't you think when you pour a beer, you're getting more out of it feels like you're getting more out of the bottle and Nah, you're not thinking that way. That's fair enough. Right. That's it. Look at that. It looks like a Yorkshire pudding. Is there still more in that? <laughs> Leave that there for a minute. Right. I'm just going to take the... Pour in again. There you go. That's the dregs. That's the. That's all the goodness. That's all the goodness. Why? Right. There we go. I do like the label. Did I tell you that? <laughs> I'm not smashed at all. Anyway, let's stick up to the light. Jet black. That jet black. Off white head. It looks like a proper stout. Let's get a whiff. Roasty. Coffee. It's all the, it's all there, you know, all them stouty notes. I'm looking forward to this. I'm going to go in. Cheers, everybody. Going again. lovely that is really really good and i have to agree with the blurb what it says on the label about drinking bigger it feels bigger than a 4.3 it certainly does and it's packed for the flavor again again it 
it feels definitely feels heavier than the 4.3. But you're getting all them lovely, stouty, traditional notes. So you're getting the chocolate, the coffee. <coughs> excuse me, a bit windy. <coughs> the roastiness. It's all there. But the density of the beer is quite heavy for a 4.3. You can just feel it should be stronger, but it isn't. It's just a good all-round stout. No bullshit. It's a stout. No kind of like gimmicks. It's bang on. It is. Um, the mouthfeel reminds me of a Guinness original in a way, with the with the the carbonation just kind of like going mad in your in your mouth. It just it just does. It just feels like a Guinness original. It's got the same level level carbonation to it. Nice hint of bitterness on the back end. But it's absolutely lovely. It's, you know, I can't praise this lot enough. I can't, they don't bullshit with their beers, you know. They, they just do phenomenally great, great solid beers. And it's just another one. They could release an alcohol-free version of this beer and it would be just as enjoyable because they're that good at doing their stuff. They really are. You know, I'm going again. Good, solid, stout. Say no more. Boys and girls, sometimes it's a pleasure bringing you a beer. And on this occasion, it certainly is. Durham Brewery and a Dark Angel stout. It's a cracker. What you see is what you get, and what you get is good stuff. Thank you very much for watching this one. Please subscribe, murder me in the comments, look after yourselves, see all of you again on another one. Bib bib, kiss it.